Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm going to go through the January 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 paper now. Um, and this paper, I'm going to go through each question one by one on a separate video um, and save them into separate playlists one playlist for the paper and one playlist for the topic. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to go through these questions with a bit more detail than some people might be expecting, um, trying to explain things for those who had uh, difficulties in understanding during the term, they couldn't study or they you know, didn't have teachers or homeschooling or whatever. So I'm going to take a bit more time than you might uh, expect in you know some videos where people just basically just write the answers down and just write down the mark scheme, not talking mark scheme, I'll try to explain some of these t topics in some a bit more detail. Okay, so let's go straight ahead. Answer question number one. Here we have a curve C has equation y equals 2 plus 10 x to the power of a half minus 2 x to the power of 3 over 2, where x is greater than 0. Find dy dx, giving your answer in simplest form. All right, so here, um, this is a pretty simple question to start off with, I guess. We're given this equation y equals 2 plus 10x to the power of a half minus 2x to the power of 3 over 2. So there's absolutely no preparation needed. Normally, you have like the x in the denominator or you have th things in third form, the square root form, and you have to rewrite them in index form on the numerator. Everything's ready here, so there's no actual preparation involved for this. We can just straight away just find dy dx. So we have to realize when we have a constant term and we differentiate, we get 0. Okay, so if you differentiate 2, it becomes 0. So we don't write that down. Um, and generally, when you have an x term, the power is multiplied by the coefficient first. So a half times 10, which is 5. And then we take 1 from the power. So a half minus 1, which is negative a half. A half take away 1 is the same as a half take away 2 over 2, which is minus 1 over 2. And here, you're going to have minus 3 over 2 times 2. When you multiply 3 over 2 by 2, the 2's cancel. You're left with 3 x and 3 over 2 if you take away 1 from 3 over 2 that's 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 which is a half and that's it that's the answer simple as that okay three marks you can say giveaway marks there so that's the answer in its simplest form um that's fine if you want to if you want to you can write this as 5 over x to the power of a half minus 3 x to the power of a half if you want to that's fine but both of these are fine. You could also write this as 5 over the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of x. That would also be fine. Uh, any of those three ways of writing the answer is fine. Um, you know, I personally would just leave it like this. And that's absolutely fine for this question. Now for part B. It says, hence find the exact value of the gradient of the tangent to C at the point where x equals 2, giving your answer in its simplest form. Solutions relying on calculated technology are not acceptable. Because you have to show your steps here. So we have to find the value of the gradient of the tangent where x equals 2. So we need to find, we need to know what the gradient function is. And that's exactly what we found in part A, dy dx tells you the gradient of a function okay so this expression here which we've written in its kind of more suitable form for differentiation uh, for um, sorry substituting values in over here we can use that form here to help us substitute so we need to we know that the gradient function is dy dx the gradient function is known as dy dx okay so dy dx is the gradient function and we know that dy dx in its friendly form for substitution is 5 over root x minus 3 times root x okay that's a nice way to write it so when you have to substitute value in and we need to know what dy dx is when x equals 2 so we replace the x with 2 here and we simply write down or simplify that so dy dx equals 5 over root 2 minus 3 root 2. Now, when it says solutions relying on calculated technology are not acceptable, what it means is they don't want you to just put this into your calculator and write the answer down. Uh, 
If you did that, you would definitely lose one of the marks. One of the marks you would get for putting x equals 2 into your expression. But if you just write this in your calculator and put the answer down, you definitely would lose a mark. That's why they wrote this in this particular place here. Because they want you to know how to simplify the thirds without using a calculator. So we can see here we have this fraction which has is, is, is not rationalized. It's not in its simplest form because the denominator is irrational. So you have to rationalize this denominator. So they want to see you carrying out this step where you multiply both the denominator and the numerator by root 2. So you didn't change its value, but you're going to now change its form. This will cause the denominator to be rationalized. This is fine as it is for now. And then this gives us 5 times root 2 um, over, so that's going to be 5 root 2 over 2. So you have 5 root 2 over 2 minus 3 root 2. Okay, and now we need to simplify this. This is like 5 root 2 over 2 minus 6 over 2 root 2. So 5 root 2 over 2 minus 6 over 2 root 2 which if you simplify that, that's 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So it's minus 1 root 2, so minus root 2 over 2. That's your answer now in its simplest form. That is the gradient of the tangent to C at the point where x equals 2. Okay, so remember a uh, little point here is say this is the curve. Say this is the point C. The tangent to the curve would be a line which touches the curve at that particular point. So, so supposing that's the point where x equals 2. Okay, so the tangent would just touch the curve at that particular point when x equals 2. And what we found here now is the gradient when x equals 2. So let's say this is where x equals 2. So the gradient of the curve when x equals 2 is the same as the gradient of the tangent when x equals 2. Okay, so that's what we basically did here. So we know that the tangent to the curve shares the gradient, shares the same gradient as the curve at the point where the tangent touched the curve. All right, so that's what, what we use to get our answer. All right, so that completes um, this question part B of question one from the January 2023 Pure Mathematics P1 paper from Edexcel. Other questions, this is international A level. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. Other questions from uh, the topic of differentiation um, can be found in this playlist over here. That's P1 differentiation from LXL. Other questions from the topic of, um, well, you can subscribe to my channel actually from this um, link over here and you watch the video that will appear in this region here. It will tell you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.